we are on the cusp of the U.S. Marshals holding their auction of 26,000 bitcoins. Um, that is going to happen tomorrow, and they'll release the results of that auction on Monday. And um, so let's let's just start with that and uh, kind of delve into that topic a little bit. Um, Evan, do you think that the auction uh, happening this weekend will have an immediate effect on the price? And uh, and what's what's your latest uh, price analysis based on the evidence that we have so far? I think it's already having an effect on the price um, today. It start the price started out today or at five sixty, and um, you know a couple of days ago it went from it went from five ninety down to five sixty, and um, I said that was going to happen in an article I wrote recently because there was going to be panic selling leading up to the auction, and that would create a slight deviation from the sideways trend that we've been experiencing. Experiencing, but it's back in the five hundred eighty range. Uh, the day before the auction, so that tells me that people are getting excited over it. So, I think it's definitely already having an immediate effect on the price. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but after the coins have already been auctioned off and we get the results on Monday, as long as the winners hold the coins, there's not going to be any. Um, there won't be any downward pressure on the price. Uh, the yeah. only thing that could happen is that the price. Uh, the sideways trend will remain, uh, will persist until something else happens to uh, either increase or decrease the price. Um, or it'll go up a little bit because people will be an, uh, anticipating good news. Like, um, like for instance, let's assume that second market wins at least some of the coins and they invest that into their business. Um, people would be anticipating good things to come from that, so they might buy a little bit more so mm. they could then you know participate in in second market mm. so um, I definitely don't think that uh, it's gonna drive the price down unless one unless somebody decides to dump them all then you know it will but yeah. um yeah 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 but it's, it all depends on uh, how what they do with the coins and I'm I'm pretty confident that whoever wins, they're going to hold them as an investment, and so then it depends on how long uh, they hold them. Yeah. Because yeah. because the longer they hold them, the more coins are mined, right? So um, as the supply grows larger and larger, um, the coins that those auction winners are holding will have less an effect of an effect on the price when they're dumped. So that's what I think is going to happen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and we discussed this a little bit last week as well. Like, um, we wouldn't really expect um, bidders to try and buy the coins just to dump them on the market. That wouldn't really make sense. It's not really efficient for people, for people to do that. It seemed, I, I looked at that list um, a little bit more, and I think that the bidders um, fall into two main categories. You've got the people who are uh, involved with Bitcoin businesses, and they're buying up the coins to possibly uh, bolster the funds for their business and such. A second market is the main example of that. They, they actually want the coins because they're involved in the industry. Then there's others um, like, you know, the random artists and lawyers who don't necessarily work in the Bitcoin industry. Um, you know, they're probably just looking for a good deal on coins. They're a fan of Bitcoin. They like it a lot and they've got the money to, to spare and um, they don't really want to go on an exchange and spend a whole ton of money on an exchange for bitcoins and, and pay, you know, basically the exchange rate, they're hoping to get a good deal from the U.S. Marshall's auction. So yeah, like, uh, there's no reason to, success, to suspect that uh, anyone's going to buy the coins and then just dump them on the auction or dump them on the markets. So I think that if we do see um, a downward trend in the price this week, it'll be because of speculators. It's, it won't necessarily be because directly because of the auction because it's just not likely to happen. Um, if, if the price goes down, it'll be the speculators who, who think that the coins might get dumped on the market. And as, right. as everyone knows in the Bitcoin space, speculators do have um, a lot of influence in the markets. Right, and we've already seen a little bit of that. Um, 
And just to go back to what you said about the uh, the two main groups, the individuals versus the Bitcoin companies, um, I think those individuals, they're banking on getting the coins at below market price. You know, and so if they do get them below market price, uh, then it's very possible that they could dump them because, you know, mm. they would pay below market price and then mm. they make a profit just by having one a profit. You know? Yeah. Um, but I don't think that's going to happen, though, because because um, their competition are these, you know, pretty substantially large Bitcoin companies. Who and they and they want the coins because they're expecting, you know, a few years from now, they're they're expecting the price to be at like a million dollars for Bitcoin, yeah. you know. So they're they're going to be willing to bid way above the market price. So um, so yeah, I think it's going to be a company that's going to get the bitcoins, and I think they're going to hold them. So okay, um, p the idea of people bidding above the market price. Um, my question is why. Like, if, if someone is willing to pay above the market price, price for a bulk order of, you know, thousands of Bitcoins, um, you know, like, why, why wouldn't they just go on an exchange or go on Coinbase or whatever and buy in bulk at the current exchange rate? You know, like, why, uh, why, why willingly pay a premium to the U.S. Marshals for the Silk Road coins? Well, it's because... Um they're looking ahead, you know, like five or ten years from now. You know, they the Bitcoin price right now is five eighty four. If they you know, if if somebody were to buy those coins right now for like a thousand dollars, yeah, they've taken a pretty substantial loss right now. But they did that because they're expecting the price to be like ten thousand mm -hmm, dollars. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah. So like a thousand so like you know, like five hundred dollars above the current market price is a small price to pay uh, when you're expecting it to um, to increase by like, you know like a thousand percent. Right, but like why 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 wouldn't they just go on to Coinbase or local Bitcoins or you know any of these so many sources where you can buy Bitcoins these days and just pay um, at the exchange rate or just above the exchange rate. You know, if that's their motivating factor, like, okay, the price of a Bitcoin is going to multiply a thousandfold. Like, that's the sentiment of a lot of people in the community. I just don't think that um, that's a, enough of a motivating factor to, to get some of these bidders to be willing to pay above market price for the Silk Road Bitcoins. I think that it's mainly people uh, looking for a deal on bulk Bitcoins. But um, going back to something you said earlier um, about people wanting to make a make a profit if they do get a good deal, yeah, actually that now that I think about it, that is a that is a real possibility because you know these people who do like the idea of Bitcoin and, and they're into it, like they could still want to make a profit, and if they get a good deal, then um, like let's say let's say let's say they get like a 3,000 Bitcoins in, in one block, right, in the auction. Let's say they get those at around $400 per coin. They get a pretty pretty damn good deal at the current market price. And, uh, and yeah, I could, I, could, I, I could see them uh, dumping at least a fraction of those onto exchanges and, uh, tr you know, trying to recoup some of their cash and then just keep, the majority of the of their winnings for themselves, personal use or whatever. So, um, with with that in mind, yeah, you know what? I, I think that we might see a little bit of um, of a little bit of downward pressure. But again, it's mainly the speculators who are gonna who are gonna drive that. I think. Well, um, I also think that a reason uh, why they might be willing to pay above market price. Uh, one is because I think, yeah, they're auctioning them off in blocks of 3,000, but I think realistically the people competing for these are going for all of them. You know, they're mm. going for all, how many are there, 30,000 coins or something like that? Yeah, almost 30,000. Yeah, th yeah, I think I, th I think they're going for for all of them. And um, and also they, they might not want to... Um, they might not want to manipulate the ex the exchange prices, 
Because you know if they buy it on an exchange, it's gonna it's gonna skyrocket, and then it's gonna create a lot of speculation that they're getting ready to dump. Because you know, like somebody just bought thirty thousand coins on an exchange, and now you know the price went up a thousand percent. So now they're probably gonna dump it, and everything's mm -hmm. gonna mm -hmm. die. And so then everybody would dump their coins. Maybe they're anticipating that, and so they want to buy something. Um, they want to buy you know thirty thousand coins. Uh, you can't do that with local bitcoins because you know you know how many people are holding seventeen million dollars worth of bitcoins. Yeah, not gonna happen. And um, so, th you know, they might. It's it's possible that they just don't want to do it on an exchange. And um, I think, I mean, it's possible. I I'm sure they're hoping for you know below market price, but um, judging by the fact that you have to pay two hundred thousand dollars just to get in the door, and yeah, then uh, yeah. and then the sheer and then the sh you know the sheer size of the companies you know relative to the Bitcoin economy of course, um, you know they're pretty they're pretty large and pretty wealthy in terms of uh, the Bitcoin economy, so yeah. I don't see why they wouldn't be willing to bid above market price especially with the competition you know they're they're all wanting to beat each other out so they're all gonna have to bid higher than each other mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah so um we'll we'll see how all this plays out this is all gonna happen this weekend um uh viewers you guys will probably be watching this uh as the auction is happening or as it's finishing so um you know go ahead uh uh Write in the comments uh, your your opinions and and what you think about what's happening with the auctions. Go ahead, join join the discussion. Um, so we'll 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 talk more about this next week and about the actual results that come out on Monday.